message from Admiral Stephen Hackett, Alliance HQ. Commander Shepard, I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. So why call me? Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Kenson is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion. Don't go at all. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and an Alliance agent working in a Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. The Batarians won't take kindly to the Alliance breaking into a secret prison. This is not an Alliance operation. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground and a Batarian outpost in Aratat. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. We've been spotted. Baron. The Batarians must send their prisoners down here to die. I have to find Dr. Kenson now. Get the human in question. 
Get your hands off me! What's this? Listen. 
this one's apparently the mastermind. If she doesn't talk, kill her. you? What are you doing? Dr. Kenson, I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you out. Commander Shepard? I'd heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. We're not safe here. Can you walk? I'm fine. Just give me a moment. We have to go. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. Then we'll find one. Go. Ready. them off me while I hack us a way out. below. need more 
down their orbital tracking network. Watch the other side. More enemies on the elevators. did it. Let's move. Engaging autopilot. 
We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it? Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too, but I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yards. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. Is the project still operational? I, I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. How were you caught? We've been smuggling Starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, guidance, an aftermarket ESO core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. What is a Reaper artifact doing on an asteroid? We don't know, or even what its purpose is. Some things are just too old or large to comprehend. Even a Reaper thousands of years dead contains power. Their artifacts are worthy of study, regardless of their purpose. How exactly does a Reaper artifact give you proof of an impending invasion? It showed me visions of the Reaper's arrival. Much like your Prothean beacon, I imagine. The Reapers are coming, Commander. That much I know for certain. If you're working near a Reaper artifact, how have you avoided indoctrination? We've been very careful. We know what we're dealing with. You're not speaking to a child, Shepard. I saw what Sovereign did at the Citadel. Trust me, I know what's at stake. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to Project Base. Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Shepard? Really? Tidy up the lab. The Commander needs to confirm the artifact. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. 
What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Just over two days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reaper's proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. So what would it take to get the project back up and running? Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? What alternative do we have? The Reapers will reach this system regardless. But the Alpha Relay is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this Relay must be destroyed. We have to get the project running again. It's probably the only chance we have. One sec, let me get the door. Commander Shepard, I give you Object Row. You have the Reaper artifact just sitting here? Out in the open? When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. I can't let you start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. Take him to the med bay and pack. 
catch him up. We want Shepard alive. 